The defense wants most of the criminal charges in a high-profile Fillmore County criminal case dropped. That has the state now arguing why the charges should stick ahead of a potential trial. Samantha Peterson is charged with several counts of criminal vehicular homicide while under the influence pertaining to the September 2023 crash that claimed the lives of Amish children Wilma and Irma Miller. The girls, ages 7 and 11, were on their way to school that morning on Fillmore County Road 1 north of Spring Valley. Two other Miller children were hurt when their buggy was hit. Initially, authorities reported the driver of the striking vehicle to be Sarah Peterson, Samantha's identical twin. However, according to court records, investigators later determined Sarah was covering for Samantha, who was allegedly high on drugs when the crash happened. Both sisters were on scene when law enforcement arrived. We're digging deeper now tonight into the issue of probable cause here in the case. The defense submitting a 22-page memo to the court last month on why it wants 18 of those 21 charges dropped against Samantha Peterson. And just last week, the prosecution filing its 41-page memo in response to the defense's motion. Now, there are three main issues at play here. Let's take a look here. They include the search warrant that was carried out the night after the crash to obtain a blood sample from Samantha and then those subsequent results of that blood sample for Samantha, along with an audio recording allegedly taken between Samantha and Sarah at the scene of the crash. We begin here breaking down the arguments over that search warrant. Now, the defense says the nighttime search was overbroad and exceeded its scope in its execution. Noting law enforcement did nothing to prove Samantha was high at the time of the crash. The defense claiming she consumed drugs after the time of impact. Now, the state is saying here that that nighttime search was necessary to preserve evidence, specifically Samantha's cell phone, and also obtain a blood sample in a timely fashion. The state drawing attention to a message found on Samantha's phone from the day of the crash, where Samantha told a friend, quote, I made Sarah come there and take the fall for it so I wouldn't go to prison, end quote. As for Samantha's blood sample taken approximately 37 hours after the deadly crash, here's the results. It showed positive results for methamphetamine along with THC. The prosecution says there is no evidence to suggest Samantha's post-driving use of meth or THC. Meanwhile, the defense says the state has no evidence that Samantha was impaired at the time of the crash. So finally, to that issue of an audio recording in which Samantha and Sarah are allegedly talking about their attempt to switch identities while at the crash site. Samantha's defense attorney, his name is Carson Hefner, and he says it was illegally obtained. Fillmore County attorney Brett Corson disagrees, stating the recording was never meant to capture a conversation between the twin sisters. Samantha is awaiting her next court date. Meanwhile, Sarah's separate case is scheduled for a settlement hearing on December 9th.